Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you here okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl? Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more to the Jamaican cooking journey. And let me say a special welcome to all my new subscribers. Please do enjoy. Now today we're doing for you some chicken liver. Chicken liver, okay? Chicken liver is, I think it's the most nutritious, I'm, I'm not sure if it's goat liver, but I think it's the most nutritious liver. It is nice, it's easy to cook, and all of that. So what we want to show you today, I want to just show you how you can get yourself, look at this, some clean, nice, pretty chicken liver, yes. What you're going to do, you're going to put some, I'm going to cleanse it with some baking soda. That's what I'm going to do, that's how I do mine. And you know the liver it have this extra rawness about it. So when you want to know, you just want to mush it up with a baking soda. Do cleanse your liver how you want to cleanse it. This is how I cleanse now. And let me get a little more. I'm going to use it too. When I do it like this, it comes off clean and nice and all of that. And all that extra rawness, may not have it. So, look at what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get some water. Come on, girl, you eat this. And as soon as I catch the water, and it's in that water, I just leave it to drain on a cold water. Okay? That's out your container, all of that. And leave it right there to drain. Okay? We're going to leave that right there. This is how I cleanse my little liver. You can't have it in water soaking all over and scrubbing. That's just liver. We don't want to rub the wallet and stuff them in the kitchen. So we just rinse that out. You can dry this. So you, know, you have to dry it, you know, because you're going to return to just season in this same thing. Now, what you want to do, this is a cleaning out of my refrigerator version. Any little thing, we're going to stew some chicken liver. I find here some tomatoes. I wanted to use tomatoes because the tomato get a nice, you know, instead of ketchup. And I guess the people that love ketchup might like this. I'm going to use some carrots. I'm going to use, as I tell you, I'm cleaning up my fridge, some red bell peppers and some onions. I'm going to use some scallions. These scallions, they kind of like a little, like, they're not going bad, but they're like, you know, not fresh. So I'm clean up my fridge. So I'm using those instead of using the fresh ones i have these and they can be used i'm used i'm gonna use some garlic lots and lots of garlic for the liver if you're a garlic person okay i'm gonna use a little chili powder and i'm gonna use some basil leaves that i have use whatever you have i'm also gonna grate with a little piece of ginger and of course i am going to put a little salt right on over here I've got some chicken oil and I'll be using some chicken oil because I want this liver you have to have so a nice rich flavor. Eh? Nice even though we are using what we have in our fridge and what we find, we want it for nice and good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to leave my oil to be eaten on, on the high. Leave my oil to be eaten on the oil. Coming back over here, we're going to give our liver one more rinse and leave it to drain. When we return, movements straight movements return and movements time is here the first thing on the eye eat i'm gonna put in the skeleton okay i want to put in the skeleton first so just get a little jig a little jiggy jiggy into the oil just give it spin it around a little bit in there because you don't want them burn onions and if you have um green and yellow red peppers no the carrots yeah bill of beets you know hello you're doing this a bit different we're doing this a bit different we're building the base for the um to put the liver so you know put the liver in first because can i tell you something chicken liver is like it, it's a lot easier than a regular liver and you know regular liver is always easy to cook i'll put some carrots this is to like give it a little body enhancement and give some gravy and look here this is about a pound and a little chicken liver to make it stretch eh yeah, so it goes. I'll put the tomato inside here. So that now we're gonna add make it cook down with a little bit of salt. Not a lot. Please look at what I'm doing. 
Let's put a little bit of salt to make it get seating going on. So look at this. It's on the high. You're going to leave it on the high. But at the same time, leaving it on the high, you're going to need to cover it. It's building its little thing on the high. Let's move. This is movement. We are going to cover right here. We're getting these out the way. Okay? On the high. So, we have our liver here. I'll drain. We clean it out and take up the little parts. Them. I drain it on the colander because we don't want now. When we are cooking the liver, this will have long water. So, you drain it properly. You notice there is no water. Bam. Put a little salt. Not a lot. I remember, you put a little in that already. So, you just go lower right here. So. That is good as it is, you know, because the tomato in there farm some juice so it won't burn. I have here some basil leaves. You don't have to put what I put. Season with your season of choice. I have some pimento powder. Okay? I have a little some chili powder. I'm gonna put a little bit. And you know my garlic thing. I'm gonna slap off a few pegs of garlic right here and now. Mm-hmm. Really fast. This is how fast this dish is. So I'm slapping off three pegs of garlic and I'm slapping off a little piece of ginger. So right away, it's going to be so, so fast. It's going to be so juicy. It's going to be so flavorful. As we go along, just watch. All right. So we're going to rub up this now. Wow, the table is clean. That's why I always say clean table and stuff. Remember, one spoon to season and the other one to be that little thing there we're making a little arm you know this no need to season and marinate no 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 we don't need to do that okay just a little spin around because everything i will go down at the pot and a beer beer things are in at the pot here movements let's come right over here on the high heat look at what is happening you see what i'm talking about this is looking so lovely remain on the high heat At this point, you're ready now. Remember, two spoons enough. You're going to put your liver right down in here. A nice BS there. Huh? Alright, now that you put your liver down in there, on the IE, you're going to need to keep the thing going. Leave it, cover it. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty, y'all. So, leave it down in there. Let it stay in there for about three, about three, I would say five minutes maximum. On the I eat, remember we cook liver for I eat, eh? Alright. Now, all these out the way, remember we are using this and the other spoon. Now, we're leaving that for five minutes. When we return, we're gonna need to give it a little color. We're gonna use a little soy sauce. We're gonna need a little extra nice, little extra pretty taste. We're gonna use a little white cooking wine. If you have the red one, but I wouldn't suggest. But if you have apple cider or whatever vinegar you can but just a little bit because if you use the apple cider you might have to use a pinch of sugar with it eh because the acidity and the thing eh we are put a little soy sauce if you don't want to you can use some um fish and meat or some Worcestershire sauce so we're gonna use this when we return to give it a nice pretty little color and if we don't have enough eat we're gonna use a little piece of pepper this is not scotch bunny this is a type of common pepper too this is not scotch bunny hey y'all when we return you see and we're going right in there you see what's happening in there you see that nice juice and blend there we're not put out oh, you remember we didn't you did you, you didn't see me put any water you know okay now look at that you see the amount of liver we put it and you see it get enough with the whole for something then yeah man now it is on the more like the whiter side caribbean people we like our meat with color and this is why we're going to use some soy sauce be careful of how you put your soy sauce learn to adjust yourself and learn to know put a little first and then if you want a little more you go again let us check that is how you do it you don't put a lot one time know the type of your nature your soy sauce okay i eat all of this has been done on the high eat and it looks like we'll take a little bit i will like nice brown pretty color meat we don't want it too dark and we don't want it too white so this should be good mm? at this point now we're gonna put a little white wine but look how you put the white one put the white wine to the side don't let it catch it because it will if it is white out the meat that is like about a teaspoon of white cooking wine 
If you don't want to put it, you don't put it. But I'm telling you, it has just a little alcohol, but it will gig, bring in a nice little gig to it. High heat, we are on still. And guess what? And at this point, we want to taste. Let's taste this. We want taste for salt perfection. And if we have any flavor, they will taste good. Yeah, man, salt good. You are putting a little Worcestershire. Remember, not Worcestershire, sorry. I'm putting in a little oyster sauce, okay? And remember to refrigerate your oyster sauce when you open it. So. And oh, me taste it. It looks like me want one little. Wow, this is so nice. Look like me definitely want a little extra piece of pepper. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to cut up a few pieces of this pepper here. Because this thing has a taste of pepper, you know. Nobody don't like me, you know. Don't put your hand on the pepper. Someone ain't now, I could kill this pepper. This but don't do it. You don't put your hands on it. Now, look at this. Put the camera on me. Right down to almost the low. A little less than medium. Okay, look at this. And I know you see me don't put any water in there. Let's leave it like that for three minutes. Three minutes. When we return, liver, I got ready, chicken liver. Where you gonna eat it with? I'll tell you. I won't show you, but I'll tell you. Okay, now family. We're supposed to go there now, you know. Wow. Camera girl, can you shoot them up? Look at the simmering. Look at it. I cook here once too. When you uh, hello, when you're cooking and you leave things to simmer, the first thing you do when you come back, you must give it a proper steel thorough steer so let's steer it look at this hello when last hello look at this stew when last you see any stew like this could somebody could somebody tell you that chicken liver could have such a pretty stew hello you saw me put no water i did not use any water it's just the the, the, um, the tomato that cooked out and we have the whole pepper pectin and something we come out like enough tomato as so we used to run through when we left country my mother never knew nothing about ketchup well some of my people never know the ketchup but sometimes we use some ketchup me not bun it all but this was what i knew when i was going in the country okay yes man look at this look at this look at the quality look at the consistency of the gravy anybody could have the stew chicken liver and we flavor it up with like a white wine and yeah man where we can eat this with a steaming hot plate of white rice make sure you wash it off good take off all the starch or or some of that jamaican hard boiled hard boiled food that we do the other day if you have not yet seen that video go check it out can you imagine two of them dumpling there hi hello a lot of you got it kiati the rock where you got what the call a dumpling there but we have yeah, kiati the man dumpling sexy the we you guys say the woman dumpling me just eat a little name there yes it is a little regular neat woman dumpling the one that shaped like somebody say festival dumpling that one is the soup dumpling and the pinners big up on herself on the journey my love you know, i'm proud now make we dish up some of this nice little stew li um chicken liver here. Yeah. Make we not make no mess. Hmm? Yes, sir. Wow. Hello. Nobody not have to tell you said this tastes good parries. Looking at it, this is what you call eating with your eyes. You don't need nobody to get no degree. Now nah, nothing at all for nobody to say this come you look at this. You know it's proper. You saw what I did. Okay, this was like this is piece of the, the tomato here right coming up. Look at this look at the quality of the gravy anybody knows knows that chicken liver could have cooked and you have so much gravy and you put your little carrot let me come right over here you put your little carrot oh lord it's so beautiful let's do a little cleaning up okay you know we have to do this this is this is what we do here we don't present with any mess from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to yours it's to the chicken liver in a decent way very quick very easy very very efficient low cost chicken liver not expensive this is a nice dish this can be served with fried dumplings on a sunday morning for your breakfast okay if you have liked this video remember to thumbs me up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up remember to like oh thumbs up is like i'm sorry remember to share and most of all remember to subscribe when you subscribe you know you gotta smack that bell because you don't want to be get left out on any of this i talk really fast thank you so much for your donations 
and thanks in advance for those who will be donating in the future. Debbie from Donga Yard, bless. You need to try this. No stress. <laughs>